Hello everyone, and welcome back to Comstone Farm, and this time what we're going to do today is make it all the rest of the bathing sorted. In terms of the straw bells, we need to get them stacked, and in terms of the grass field here, we need to get this headed, wind road, and then eventually bailed. So see mine's going down quite a bit, that is because we've got three workers coming over, bringing the equipment over, so what we're going to do, get it all folded up. That's folded, let's get you folded. So this is the John Deere with the trailer. Also we've got, what else we got, we got the Teleander coming. All perfectly timed. We leave you there. Hop into the John Deere. We'll put you over here. Because also we need to go to the shop, get the wind rover, and get the tether as well. Oh, that's a solid thing. But yeah, so at the time of recording this, Oxygen David has made some notes in terms of what update 1.1 is going to be. There's a few little bugs in that that Aussie main people, including myself, have experienced. And actually, if we pull over here, I can get the notes up here. So if we go to Discord. There we go. So yeah, constant update 1.1. Um, fill 23, that's free, that's be fixed. A couple of the collectibles are hard to get, like the ones at the pig enclosure has been fixed. Added oats and sorghum to the sell points. Also, he may know all other productions, etc. are meant to be sold through our own placeables. A couple of collision issues being fixed. Add the option to buy the BGA in multiplayer. Various other tweaks and fixes. He might add a UK GEO for fruits. Rework the placeable cell values, make horse training field placeable so people can remove it and farm it if you wish. Add more paint to the ground textures in landscaping modes. Animal trough capacity has been increased. Pig pasture sellable so the fields can be farmed. And texture pack, season pack and brands will release very soon once they are finished. And there's a couple of issues with multiplayer and dedicated servers which I'm not going to too much but of course you can find all these notes on Oxygen David server and I know a few people have shared it on other servers and Facebook pages so feel free to check that out so we've got a worker somewhere which is stuck oh really got yourself stuck on there's a gate right there oh anywho we'll get the bather over here so get you started. I want you to go to there. Yeah, somewhere like that. Hopefully you don't struggle too much. So yeah, we'll move the class somewhere out of the way. We'll leave it somewhere on this path. Really should leave it on the side because obviously other farmers might be using this path, but if farmers come this way and have to use this path, then we will just go ahead. Oh, that was very close. Okay. <laughs> Nothing to see there. But yeah, let's hop into the John Deere. So yeah, we'll go to the shop, which is the other direction, not this way. Just cut through the hedgerows. <laughs> So yeah, we'll go to the farm shop, get the window, get the tether, and then we'll go ahead and get started. Obviously we're in September, we're on two day months, so we don't have to cultivate or anything yet, but is there any contracts that we can do? Please, yep, yeah, a couple of fertilizing contracts. And we've got a scene contract. Do not see that. So we've already got three contracts enabled, but I want to do that scene contract. Was it field 30? Yeah, it's at the bottom right corner. So it's a big field. It's going to take 
a lot of seeds I'm sure so yeah we'll go ahead get us all hooked up take this over and we'll come back in second year I think so here's the beater come forward a bit more yeah we do have some straw in here that will be picked up not sure if that would turn into hay or if we'll use some of the hay that will be converted into to fill up the straw bell. If that's the case, then that's fine with me. But yeah, I'm, I've just been thinking as well in terms of what we're going to do, and obviously we've got to sell some of these bells for the contract, of course. But once we're done with all the bathing, I may just take a couple of bells at a time. Hopefully the bell trail can hook up to the telly and if that's the case we can take the telly hand over and only sell a couple of bells at a time. Also we need nine grand to buy a dolly for the milk trader or the tanker trader. That's fine with us. You know it seems like we're running the on fires, it's just because last episode we spent a hundred grand on equipment, so there's nothing really to worry about. I think making money on comms and farm ain't going to be an issue. Especially the size of the fields and that, so... So if we get any stone contracts, we'll do them. That's going to take a while though. Same with harvesting, that's going to take a while. Oops, crikey. Obviously the quicker ones is the fertilising. I think pretty much everyone knows that. But if you don't, then that's... Best way to make money is by doing furrows and contracts. Do take long to do, and it can be really profitable. But well, speaking of which, I have been thinking about getting a muck spreader. Because we get manure and slurry now from the cows, we could really look at that getting like a manure spreader, just looking at some of these options. Obviously, we got the run. Rolling ones here. So it's just 260. So how much is that? 37 grand for a 60 meter one. Perhaps we could go a, a bit bigger. I'm not sure how much it's going to take because I've never really done in Europe before. In terms of like muck spreading and sorry spreading. Even on FS19, didn't really do it too much. And off the way we go. But yeah, I do like how like the whole ten works, like how it's been improved on FS2. Just like grass just gets thrown everywhere. That is looking really nice, just look at that. Then what we'll do, we'll use 90 meter wind rower, get it all wind roads, then bait it. Shouldn't take too long, we'll do the big bells. Get them stacked manually, then auto those stack them to tie them up. Let's make sure we're getting the full width. Yes, we are. So, yeah, this should not really take too long, and I think this is a good time for a time lapse. So, what we're going to do now is get the rest of the tethering done, and then wind road, and then build, and then we'll take this to the cell point at the Autosphere cell point. Actually. Quickly check whilst we're here. Please say this hooks up to the trader. I know the JCB doesn't re really hook up to two main things, but I'm hopefully one of those things is this trader. Please. Ah, bugger. I suppose we may sell the JCB to get a different telehandler just because I have something we can actually tow stuff with. I know why it's the implement on the back here, it's not really. Can't reap our way on. It's got a hook on it, but you thought that was hooked up to it, but apparently it does not. Hopefully, there is a modded JCB Telehandler coming out on the mod up soon, hopefully. Because Space Game 1 needs some work, I think, to make it more usable. We're a British farm, and I love to use JCB, I love to use British equipment, but things like that just ain't gonna sit right for me. That's just not me complaining, that's not me moaning or being demanding, that's just a bit of constructive criticism. 
ballsy with FS rate 2. There's a lot of good stuff. Giants have definitely outdone themselves. Yes, there is a couple of niggles in that, but some of them hopefully shouldn't be too much of a hassle to fix. Obviously, I'm coming from a background of new modding or new nothing experience. But it's just yeah, a bit of constructive feedback. I don't think that will do any harm. And that's fair, though. Some people just outright moans all the time, demanding this, this, and that. But really understanding sort of what goes in the process process of modding. I've seen people like HSU modding that on his YouTube channel and that. And I appreciate all the work, all the mods do. Auction David, AGM, everyone. Even if it's mods I don't use, it's just good work done by people. And just yeah. So yeah, anyway, so we'll continue on with this. I will come back in a few moments. the tether and done, we're just waiting around this now. We're just get work to continue on with the rest of this. Hopefully it should manage fine, but yeah, I did notice with the wind rower that there's a couple of patches here and there where you sort of turn around and it just sort of deposit bits randomly to the side. Not sure what that is. Also I had to jump in back into the class mower because of well just simply Little issues or bits were missed when I had the work of doing this last time. So, yeah, we've got a straw bell, that's done, that's gonna come out now. And we're just gonna continue on, get all the hay done, it should not take too long. But, how's Kloss doing? Actually, no, didn't too bad on the field. 
computer build mode. Yeah, some missed bits up here, but to be honest, for a worker, that ain't too bad. I'll say that's acceptable, just about. <laughs> See how the worker does. So it's going to take two more passes, I think. Uh, whatever bits the worker doesn't pick up, we can always pick up separately at the end. But yeah, we're getting a lot of hay now coming out, so... If I have to guess how many hay bells we're going to get, I'll say... About 15, 20 bells of hay. I'll say about 15, actually, yeah. But yeah, so as I said before, we can do a bigger pickup because we're just missing bits. Even if I go as straight in the middle as possible, there is going to be bits I'm going to miss. Does that when I was wind rowing, I had to sort of clip some of these trees and that while I was doing the heads in, so of course there's going to be bits that are clipped. Like this bit here, where I just go all over the place. But yeah, whatever bits we don't get in the end, we will just go and pick up separately. Bit of hair work and miss that little pole there. But a hinny hoop. So yeah, I'm thinking we'll just get out and get these bells, get them sold. However, bits we don't sell, we'll keep for ourselves. Also, I should really get a worker doing the furters and contracts, shouldn't I? Yeah, I think so. But again, we've got to be careful because we're going to be running out of money again. But now we're done with pretty much spending for now. All we really need, may need muck spreader. Because I think that'd be worth it. We don't have to buy for us all the time. We could just buy surrey spreader or manure spreader and that's it. We don't have to spend all money on fertilizer or anything like that. Plus it's more sort of ecologically friendly as well, technically. So yeah, there is the worker going away. But yeah, it is a nice little setup, especially on the back of the John Deere. Just a small little John Deere and the big wind rower at the back. But yeah, I think Nightmares is the biggest wind rower we've seen on FS. I know on FS19 we had, I think 15, 17 meters was the biggest one that we had. Could be wrong. I'm sure someone will correct me on that, but... Yeah, 90 meters ain't too bad. Hopefully we can have like 60 foot combine headers that we had at the end of FS19 that came out like, sometime in December, I think it was. Yes, December, I think. Yes, yeah, so no, we don't have access to the land. Don't need to tell me twice. Well, obviously there's lots of mods in testing that and via, at the time of recording this, which is Saturday morning, so Giants are, of course, away on the weekend. They released a couple of mods yesterday, including the mods by HG Studio, the 20 foot Goosenet Trader, and the Sea Tender XL. TLX Phoenix is still in testing. So hopefully that should come out as well on next week. But yeah, there's a few mods I'm possibly looking forward to, but at the end of the day, I'm, I'm going to be patient because you just never know. It's like with Compton Farm, which was I saw it in test list for console. I made a comment on Dagwin's video when he released I think it was episode two on Wednesday. Yeah, episode two on Wednesday, I think it was. I said it's just past PC testing, as it goes console testing, and that same day it came out, which for a map that sort of re that is a sort of unheard of it is because usually maps fell for some reasons, a lot of it is because of German translations. To us, I think if I, all the failures of mods, I think a lot of it is due to translation issues, not just German, perhaps some other languages, but I think German is the main one. But yeah, so if anyone can do it, Oxy can do it. Like New Masan, that was just pretty much a conversion. Obviously, New Masan on FS32 is. As it was on FS19, just use, utilizing the features of FS22. And that fell testing the first time, but that was due to. I think it was something to do with the AJ Tech logo. 
that engine used on FS19. That drones are now in models to have their own custom branding, like AJ Tech and that. At least for consoles, obviously if it's for PC and that, then of course just put onto a third party site or models can release it themselves or on their own Facebook page and that. But yeah, feel free to comment down below what mods are you looking forward to in FS2? I think the TLX would be a good one for me, I think, especially you could do with. Actually, we could do with like a proper British lorry. I haven't looked at. I know Demand 4x4, the base game one's really good. And there are a couple of other man trucks or man lorries in the mod hub. I'll have a look at some of those, give them a little test. Obviously, before I used to use the Mack trucks, and that had a lot of issues with traction in that. Hopefully, we didn't have those issues again with the Mack trucks. Too much I haven't used them much since 1.2 came out several weeks ago, so. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, yeah, it was just after Christmas, wasn't it? Was it after Christmas or before Christmas? 1.2 was released. Can't, I think it was before Christmas because obviously Microsoft didn't release the second update because obviously when PlayStation had the two updates back to back one was for the mod fix I think I'm not sure I can't recall exactly but so yeah anyways this ain't gonna take too long and then once it's all done we'll get the Bader not Bader the Bell trailer over here Along with the tape handler, get us all loaded up, sell it, and then whatever we don't sell, we'll keep for ourselves. Because basically, it's free hay. Hey there! <laughs> oh, gone a bit wonky. How many bells have we done so far? 22 bells, so that's. In so yeah, that's including what we did with the straw bells, I think. Yeah, it was here with the straw bells from the other field, so we'll have a look how many we get from this field afterwards. So we're getting a bit of a random pattern here, like this bit over there that's not really wind roads. I think we'll just go up and down on that, I think, rather than get the wind roads out. But yeah, so what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to quickly get this finished off. This shouldn't take too long, I think about another 5-10 minutes to get this all done. Including getting all the little bits as well picked up, so I want you to utilize everything. But yeah, we'll get that done, and I'll bring the folks back. To, oh, in a second here. Morning, folks. So yeah, we are September 2nd now, and yeah, what I'm going to do first of all is feed the chickens because chickens are running low on feed. Also, be doing some contract work. So, what I'll do now is I'll put a screenshot of some of the contracts that we did off camera, and then we'll continue on from there. So, alright, then we've did a couple of contracts, and just make sure we're going the right way. We are not. Can we go down this way? No, we cannot. Someone else's property. But yeah, we've done a few contracts, and also initially we did extend the loan by another 20 grand, so at the moment we are on £200,000 worth of loans, but that'll be quickly paid off. And that was just for the fertiliser, because we did a few fertiliser contracts, so we needed the initial load of fertiliser. Obviously, at some point, I think we will go down the manure muck spread route. So let's go over here, put some wheat in. I'll just turn around and we'll go to the chickens, get them fed. I think for now this will do for them. Obviously the idea we could do with a little skid steer loader and a bucket. Because how big are the buckets on skid steer loaders? Yeah, 1200 at least for the base game one. There's a couple of modded ones as well that we can have a look at, including the new JCB skid steer loader that came out yesterday at Silver Cornice. Yeah, we'll go down here. But yeah, the chicken troughs that could do with being a bit of a bigger capacity. And the trailer can fit in there, and that's why I did initially get it all set up. 
I think for more sort of real estate, just from like the size of it. So chickens are over here, I think. So we can open this gate. Bit of a bumpy terrain there. Oh no, chickens are there, so we actually have to go around. That's what I do like about the Mahindra, you can't really look back in reverse, because if we go to outside, see our head is above where the seat is, but in first person, yeah, we'll stick to third person, I think, for now. And also, we can see how many eggs have we been producing, because we do own that little area there, and we could get rid of all that shed and perhaps put another animal pen in, put another chicken pen in, perhaps. Also, the gates remained open, just because I don't think the chickens will run out, so go and have a look. So yeah, we got some eggs here. We got 700 years worth of eggs, and we can sell them now if we want to. But best time to sell them is in November. There we go. Just empty that feed in. And if you have a look now, yeah, they're pretty much good for the time being. Oh, move chickens. Get out of the way. Go get my path. For now, I will park this here. We'll close that. If we can. There we go. Apparently that is done, which it ain't. Still got a bit more to go, but I think this contract is nearly done. Because we accepted a scene contract, we're going to get 40 grand for that. We've got the main contract to finish off, which we'll finish in a moment. Accept that, and that. So we've got a main contract on field 22, which is next to our field 23, so not too bad. Oh, dang it, I forgot to borrow the equipment because that needs size bells. I think, why is it size bells that need? Yeah, so we need to borrow a bell wrapper. And that was a bit of a mistake on my part, but... How much are bell wrappers worth? Well, this one here. 1800 to borrow. But we've got square bales, and that one is... I think we'll go ahead in that one, because we can wrap... Sorry about that, I had a phone call there. So yeah, we can wrap the bigger bells if we wish to. And yeah, I think on Elm Creek I sort of demonstrated it by, I think you have to sort of put it in manually or something. I will have a look at that when we get there, but we can borrow that and do that today if we wish. Oh, we are done with this field. Thank you very much. That only took one and a bit load, so that is three percent of this load and a full one. So to be honest, it actually didn't cost us that much in seed. About well, to buy the full load, it was about four grand or so. So what we'll do? We'll put that there for the time being. We got the bell set up over here, ready for when we do the hay over here. And so yeah, make sure that's all turned off. So yeah, what we'll be doing is just simply doing up some of these bells. And we'll be doing like the whole manual auto loading, so sort of demonstrate. And actually from this field we've got more than fifteen bells. I think we've got like thirty five bells actually from this field. So what we'll do is we'll get you stacked on. Go, slow you. Now uh, we won't set it also function just yet. Get a few more bells on, get that loaded up, and then we'll go and I think we'll go and sell these hay bells because uh, how much hay we're going to get from what we've got on this field. I'm sort of thinking we don't need to keep these bells. We can just oops, get ourselves in. Probably a straight line. 
we could just use the hay from our field there because it's going to take two days to grow the grass so every two days make a bunch of hay bells on our field not too bad and always at some point we can get another grass field like field seven this this is going to cost us about a quarter of a mil to buy if we have a look so yeah 277 foul that's 228 that's three quarters of a million and that's property land and if needed we can just go and get these smaller grass fields if we wish so you don't have to go all big oh that's a million there i think basically we may just go with something like field 33 but perhaps like field 33 7 it's perhaps i'll go with it's more of a squarish shape that's not too big even though with round bells we can get more per bale it just makes it a lot more easy to handle because with round bells you can perhaps do like two at a time and not have too many issues but like this we're doing three bells and we'll be doing like five bells at a time and it's work work to and degree it's got to be a bit careful if you're driving so, well, yeah, I think we'll go and put this load on now. I think like after like four loads, it does sort of make it a bit tipsy topsy. So, we'll just be a bit careful of our driving. Don't brake, don't accelerate drastically, especially over like the bumpy terrain. But time wise, we're at the moment, we'll sort of run like times three, times five. I think keep that times three for now because we need to plant the wheat today in field 23. That means that field needs to get bailed off the straw. No, sorry, the bells need to get picked up, sorry, because we bailed it in the last episode. So, what we're going to do, just pick you up, stack you on like that, pop you down ever so gently. Oh. There we go, don't tip. Then we'll just get to auto load. Oh, okay. That did not go to plan. Okay, manual auto loading with this particular trailer. Not as easy as initially thought. Go and pick these up. Since we had a month initially. So that is 27 bells there. So I think this can carry, I think through two was it. So wherever we get here, we'll just go ahead and set the thing. So yeah, I think the good way to get us done is in a nice little time up. So what I'm going to do, get us done, take us over to the all sphere cell point, which is at the bottom left hand corner of the map. Actually, what we'll do, we'll tack that ready for hay. It's actually the lowest, but uh, prices. Uh, sorry about that. Um, distracted again. So yeah, can't remember exactly what I said, but yeah. So we'll get these bells loaded up. We'll take them over to the cell point over there. It's a massive beacon there. And I don't think it'll take too long. So yeah, we'll hop into the GCB. There we go. So yeah, we'll continue on get this done. And I'll see you folks in a short moment.
So, alright then, folks, we are back, we are done, and that is us off the bells from field 23. And what we're going to do now is, well, actually, you know what, I think we can do a bit more money. So, what we're going to do here is actually look for some collectibles in the second year. But yeah, we got all the bells from field 6. And then what we're going to do is collect the rest of the bells from field 3 in a different episode tomorrow, I think. But yeah, so here's some collectibles. There's one here. There's another one just up here. If we can actually get up here, just hop on the wall. Yeah, I like the feature of like, the church has Sunday music. And there's another one there. But yeah, so we've busy away manually all stacking bells with some variety of success. Sometimes trying to stack the bells with the JCB Tayandra has been a bit interesting. There's one here and another one over here, I think. There we go. I know I said we were going to do like five collectibles or so today, but I think at the moment we should just collect a few collectibles and then we won't have to worry for a couple of days. I think there's one or two by the shop over here that we didn't get last time. Oh, the looking first. So yeah, there's one top of that barrel, not barrel container up there. And there's no one over there. I think there's two over here I didn't collect last time. Memory serves me right. So yeah, we'll go around and yes, yeah, have a little look here. So yeah, there's one up there. That's the War Bowser. Top up. Hop across. There we go. And there's a second one somewhere. Oh, there we go. There's a little tree there. And sorry, just got slightly attacked by chair there. But yeah, anyway, so yeah, that is all the collectibles we're going to collect for now, I think. So yeah, we're seeing pretty good. Obviously, we've done a lot of contract work in that, so I've still got a couple more contracts to do. We've got a Bain contract to do and a fertilizing contract to do as well. But right about that, I think we'll do that off camera between this episode and the next one. But in terms of fields now, I forgot we got fields 4 and 15 that we can actually mow and bale. They're not for animals, I'm pretty sure. So yeah, we can just go ahead, take the mower over there bathe it and all that, get some more hay bells. At the moment, as we stand, we've got 64 hay bells here picked up. We've got one node already in the shed. And we're going to take this one up to the second farm area, I think. Yeah, we'll take this up to the second farm, so I think we'll go right up here. But going not the banking off the road. So yeah, we'll swing a bit wide. There we go. Come on, little Johnny here, get up here. Right, so yeah, we'll get up here, just that, it's that initial state acceleration, of course, so yeah. Our cows are doing well, I think we'll have a look at that in a moment, because I think they're starting to produce milk quite a bit, so... I think we could start looking at when's the best time to sell milk, so yeah. We paid someone, I think it was about something like £260 to get rid of these old bells that were here. They were just like rotting away in that and we had no use for them. They were no longer usable for us for animal feed or in animal bedding. Australia got so damp in that for being left for who knows how long, so we just paid someone to collect it and they'll do whatever for it, they'll burn it. Who knows? Not my problem anymore, so Yeah, we'll go and put these bells over here. Plonking now. There we go. Now, the fun part, get this thing out of here, because this is a swivel axle trader. I do not get along well with these, I'm thinking, so can we get out of here? Nope. Even if we could, that rear end would end up just clipping those bells, so... I think what we do, we'll try to like reset ourselves, so try to get a sort of straight in that. Even when you sort of try to like, counter set to get it to go straight, it doesn't always work it'll go the other way. If you try to counter it the other way, it's just one big mess. I can't go out that way because the header trails in the way with the class header. 
Actually, speaking of which, there is a mod that came out the Capello, was it? HS or QS 16 to 12 meter header. Yes, that's designed for the bigger combines, but I think it's got enough force power to our combine to manage it. We'll have a look at that, I think, at some point. But of course, we're not in a rush to that because, yeah, I don't think we'll be planting corn this year, I think. We may plant some next year, who knows? We want where we want to at the moment is just save some money and get more fields and that. That's going to be the task for me, I think. Come on. Get out of here. There we go. So yeah, that's all the bells in field 6 picked up. And we'll go to field 3 in second year. And that's where I think we'll leave the tray over there because I think we've got about another 10 bells or so left in the field. So we'll turn left here. Forgot to indicate properly. You did not see that. So yeah, I think can we go right here? I don't think so, nope. Not gonna fit through there, I don't think. So yeah, we'll go the proper way around, which is just around this bend here. And there we go. So yeah. We'll go and park this somewhere near to the field, get the rest of the bells picked up in that. But yeah, in terms of what we're going to do next time, obviously we need to plow, get the rocks picked in field 23, get that fertilised, get it seeded, get it fertilised again for the winter wheat or barley. I think tomorrow's the last day for barley and today's for wheat or the other way around. So yeah, we could redo something like that. But yeah, we'll park this up, put you over there, have a look in the used market, and there are so many good things. Got a big auger trailer over there. Ah, uh, yeah, that's going to be way too big for us. That ain't going to fit around here, I can tell you that for now. Who you knows, we can actually give a try, do a little experiment, see how well we can get ourselves stuck around here. But yeah, we got the Linder track. 180 I think. Yeah, it's a good little tractor, but we could do with a bigger tractor at some point. Obviously I was thinking of replacing the fence, which, which has got about 150 horsepower, so if we could get something in the 200 region perhaps that'd be good. Also there is a forage wagon over here, which we could redo really need for the silage and that. Unless we can get a bell wrapper in, but I'm hoping the bay itself we're borrowing. I think we're going to go to like the third day up. Actually, we can return that today, couldn't we? Yeah. We'll return that at some point, and... Yeah, there was the John Deere 9000 Series Forge Officer, which we can actually do as well. So I really want to do some silage in that, like some May silage, even just harvesting wheat in that to get silage. Obviously not to the extent as we did in Old Baroon. But you can see there were some bells over there in the shed. I'm just going to have a look how many bells we've got there. So GCB is over there. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven bells left. I thought we had more than that. Yeah, I thought we had more than that, but yeah, I could be wrong. But yeah, so anyways, we'll hop into the fence. And what we're going to do, we're going to head over and have a look at the cows. There we go. But yeah, so here we are at the cows and we're just going to see how they are doing at the moment. They look like they got enough feed in that. So we're going to actually have a look at their actual feed. So yeah, about 60% left of the TMR. Got about quite a bit of story at the moment and nearly 10,000 litres of milk. Actually when is it the best time to sell milk? I'll have a little look if I can find it. No not down here unless it's yeah because production stuff down there so have a little look up here. So yeah not too bad decent price we get about 22 and a half grand at the moment from the farmers market. Actually, the best on sale is around now and October time, so 
Either we can sell some milk today, or we can wait until tomorrow. What I'm going to do now is straight ahead, go buy that dolly for our big 32,000 litre trailer. Maybe he's allowed to transport the slurry as well, Nat. So I'm thinking we can do like muck spreading. And the slurry we just sell to the biogas plant, I think. That is how I think I'm going to do that. So we may change, we may do manure and not slurry, or we may just do both. But yeah, let's have a look at the prices. So I think the biogas plant is the only sell point for these. By the uh, looks of it, I think that is the case. Try to find manure, sorry. So yeah, biogas plant, 250 kilowatts. So yeah, we can't sell it there because obviously we own it. But yeah, so just over 12,000 litres off manure as well. So yeah, not too bad. So yeah, that's going to be for us today, folks. But I hope you enjoyed this episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to comment down below. If you want to share some, please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to the channel yet, then please consider. But, for what you to do, hope you're having a nice day. But for now, this is me, Farmer, and Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.